so excited to be back in Sardinia, this beautiful island, to update you on, wow, our project. My gosh, where to start? Uh, what a story. It's been an adventure. I tell you, building in Italy, ah, uh, not sure. Anyways, uh, you're gonna hear all about it. Uh, since the last episode, we're gonna go on site, meet with the builder, uh, discuss all the next steps of the project, look at costs, meet with electrician, plumber, and all the rest. And I'll give you an update a bit on our experience uh, on this beautiful, beautiful place. So excited to be here, but what an adventure. So if you're interested, here we go. Oh my gosh, where to start with this project? I mean, it was a perfect project. You want a dream home in Italy, uh, you know, found the land in Sardinia, great price, 10,000 square meters. Um, one side, you had this view of a valley with a river, La Liche, uh, just, you know, the lot is overlooking that. I could just imagine having a pool sitting there looking at the river. And on the other side, you have a view in the distance of the islands of La Magdalena and the sea. You're up, you're the last property at the end of this road, you know, sounded perfect right now i knew building would be more complex than buying something already built but my gosh i tell you it's been such a crazy journey um and um let me just kind of summarize a bit what happened since the last video we you know i was here so you know COVID happened and um everything stopped and then kind of things reopened up but then the builder got sick he had to go to Italy from Sardinia, go to the hospital. And, you know, we came to a point where, you know, my, my, my wife was like, I'm done. This guy's never going to finish this house. So we decided to go to see another builder. OK, and we go, we, we write to many, none, none even answer. Like, no, don't even answer the phone. I mean, well, why? <laughs> I mean, uh, emails don't respond back. So we look at the whole area. We find one quick answer, actually. The lady speaks quite good English. We go, we meet with them, really nice. Uh, take us and tell us about all what they've done, some luxury, their hotels and this and that. And you know, I was like, okay. So we say, well, why don't we go on site and you tell us, right? So we go up on site to the house and there, the guy, and he's, he's an older guy, right? He's been doing houses, et cetera. And I, I see his face, right? And he's going, you know, he's stocky Italian and Claudia speaks perfectly Italian. And he's basically saying, I'm so sorry for you guys. And we're like, what do you mean? He said, well, there's tons of issues with this, this house, the way it's built, you know, strong. and I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Like seriously, on top of all the problems. And I was a bit shocking because I had seen houses the builder had built. I'd gone to a house that the owner was in the house and told me how happy he was with this builder. And this guy has a reputation and he's done a lot of things. So I'm like, how could it be that he, maybe he outsourced it and he, and he wasn't on site and the guys did things upside down. I don't know. But you know, he was listing out issues with the house, right? So, you know, it's like horror, horror story. I'm like, well, what are we gonna do? Like, you know, it, it, do we, we have to tear it down and rebuild it. So all, not only we wasted time, but we have an issue with, you know, all the money we put in. This is just a, a money pit. So ultimately I decide to say, you know what? I, I, I don't even know who to trust anymore. Who do you trust? So I went back to um, Melania. She was the, the, the realtor we had used. She was amazing. By the way, if you're looking at property in Sardinia, she's a great contact. Um, went out to her and said, look, I need your help. You know, you help, you helped buy and you helped with us select. She was there when you went to see all the different builders. And um, I, you know, I said, well, can you get me? I want a third party. I want an engineer independent to go on site and do an assessment. So she went with an engineer and he went on site. And first of all, just keep in mind, the house is open, right? So you have the roof, you have the walls, but open, you know, there's no doors, etc. So it's exposed to the elements. And the guy went around and did a full report and his feedback was, well, actually, you know, a house that's exposed like that. First of all, when a house is built, it moves a bit. No cracks in the walls, nothing settled. There's been nothing moved. He said, everything's on norm. Everything seems fine. So I'm like relieved, right? So at least, you know, <laughs> but who do you trust? I mean, this is insane of a story. I mean, imagine how we were stressed and, and thinking like we just lost it all. Um, and in a way, in Melania had really spoke a lot with Massimo and she said it was true that he was sick um, and things happened. He was in the hospital, it wasn't really his fault. And um, 
we were like, okay, you know, the guy, the guy is, uh, he has good taste. He understands building. Uh, I had mentioned in an earlier video that, you know, I wanted to put these imitation old tiles on the roof. And he said, Nathan, you got to know when you do imitation and when you don't. Imitation roof tiles can be seen that it's not imitation. You need the authentic thing, but you know, you could do ceramic on the flooring instead of stone. I'm like, okay, I like that. And everything I saw, he had taste. We had seen some builders who, oh, they did colors, they did funky, I don't know, just, just doesn't have taste. And so we decided to proceed, but what a nightmare. I mean, when you have money, and it's been years now, it's stuck this project. It's one of the reasons why, by the way, started <laughs> moving our money onto other things. We had money to kind of keep going in phases of this project. And we said, well, you know what? Uh, we're gonna have to invest uh, in something else. By the way, that was good because, you know, from negatives, positives come out. Um, we started looking at Montenegro and we just have a bunch of projects there. We're super excited about it. That's a whole different ball game. If you're interested, watch all the videos about Montenegro more to come. So, the question now is, okay, let's restart this project, let's finish it. So um, I'm gonna take you, like I said, on site and show you the project and update you on everything that's happening during this trip. Super excited because I just arrived. So uh, let me head out there, meet with them, and I'll provide uh, more details about our crazy Sardinia or Italian dream house adventure. All right, back to the car and here we go. All right, where I've arrived at the house. Surprise, surprise, what do you think? Well, you know, it's this adventure. I didn't know what I was gonna find. I didn't know if they had really progressed at all. I kept putting pressure saying, I'm coming, you better have made some progress. Well, it's a positive surprise. So I'm gonna walk through what has been done, but things have been moving, finally. Well, great news, uh, good progress. My gosh, we were so nervous. So, you know, a whole bunch of crew on site at the house. I'm just gonna show here, it'll be easier with a few videos and a few pictures, the work that's been done so you get a sense of the progress. But first they did a lot of work outside, uh, just cleaning up the terrain. It was a mess, tons of vegetation to understand the slope, moved a lot of earth. Critical one was getting the earth away from the house. So digging under this terrace, I was concerned because we had water seeping in the walls downstairs. And um, he was concerned because there's this, you know, the, the, the beams for the terrace above, well, they took away all the earth and um, it's gonna allow us to create a separate space outside where we're gonna be able to store things and give us a terrace above overlooking. So great news. Downstairs also, they cut up um, the opening for the staircase. They put an H beam to support. That was critical. Also started putting some old stone against the walls. We wanna paint those in white. So kind of be noble materials, but a little bit modern, excited about that. So the walls will have this, this, this stone painted in white, nice and luminous. Um, we also walked around and did all the water spots, all the electrical marked up on the walls. They already, already did the holes to draw down to be able to put all the cabling uh, for the electrical work. So that's great news that happened. Connected the house to the water, put in the big, there's, you know, there's a, there's a well, it goes down underground to pull up water, but we put the big tank there that was installed. So that's great news. Also around the windows, putting down the granite stone at the base of every windows that was done. They did all the measurements, the final measurements for the windows and doors. So then the next step is gonna be to order those. We've already gone to the company. So that's great news. So a lot of progress it was great to get all the videos, photos coming in of, you know, uh, uh, from the site of the work done. And uh, look, it looks like maybe, you know, by the fall, we might be able to have, not with the pool and the rest outside, but the first stage of the project, at least the inside kind of done, then we need to finalize with, you know, uh, the kitchen, uh, picking of the materials for the flooring, the tiles and the bathrooms, etc. But look, exciting. And you know what? What I'm super excited about is uh, I went to see um, a house he just completed, Patricia's house. It's beautiful. She's super happy. And uh, I did a video with Massimo. He explains his vision, his style, and that's where you realize the guy has is amazing in terms of materials, designs, lighting. Uh, he really cares about his work. And you know, I feel bad for the guy because of everything I went through personally in his health. Super happy to see him back on track. So you know what? Maybe it is possible to have a dream home in Italy. Maybe it is possible to buy and build in Sardinia for a while. I had my doubts. Well, right now I'm pretty confident, very excited, uh, really. And uh, watch the other videos so you get a sense. If you're looking at buying in Italy or in Sardinia, 
uh, and you want to hear about a builder and you know what can be done and looking at the styles and the, the choices, it's a great video. So uh, make sure you don't miss that one. Thank you again so much for watching. More videos to come. We'll give you an update on this crazy project, which is turning out to be pretty amazing. So uh, thanks again, and I'll see you in a future video.